I asked Zavala the other day if I ever got tired of being played. Watch a Palestinian throw a tombstone at a tank. That rock bounced like his body and now calls herself the moon. There are black and craters underneath her eyes. And some nights she is wine stained and bread. The violin says, I broke a few bridges because too many songs sound like excuses. I wish I had the vibrato of a left hand. After all this time, the moon still reveals a different version of herself to every night, to everyone, while the sun looks beautiful every morning. I've stood her up one too many times writing poems at night because she likes to ask me tough questions like, why do single celibate people spend so much time caring about how they look in their underwear? <laughs> or, why do we yell at dogs for digging into the earth? At least they know when to stop. We have stopped asking questions because everything has a connotation and by default a definition. So I asked the noose if it ever got tired of holding people up or it's a poor excuse for doing so. Why well, I felt the need to hide, disguise itself is uh, eight to five, uh, uh, nine to late, which had my father so busy trying to provide. Some nights he would pick me up really late from practice. I hate myself remembering those nights when most importantly, he gave me the first bite to eat whenever I was hungry. Do you know love? Would you wave hi to her if she passed you in the street, or do you live scared? Living your whole life in nightmares with a nightlight on. We live like we drive, without ever reading the manual. And God asks, what do you mean uh, you didn't read the books? Well, God, I was just waiting until I got on my iPad. <laughs> and now I've broken a few bridges because too many people sound like excuses, and for this, my heart is scrambled. My heart is a benedict falling for spatulas and skillets. My heart is made over easy when it should be hard. Boy, my heart is still sunny side up. I've always envied the sun and how she manages to pick herself up every morning. The morning Palestinian screams. You all want the promised land. Wood is blood stained and red. Everyone predicting the will of God is just a child playing grown up. Except for the children here, they live when there is nothing meant for them more than to die, I fear what will happen to heaven when people get a hold of it. What if huh. we are this planet's greatest natural disaster? Yes. The way we treat our earth, the way we treat our skin. It is then, my friend Jess reminds me that we need to let hate atrophy. It's not a trophy we can afford to win. Oh, good is a muscle we all must exercise. Yes. God is a muscle we all must exercise, and my father is good. He goes to sleep now early most nights, and then I see just how heavy it is to carry a family. My earth is good. She was once pent up and perfect. Now she has crow's feet and canyons, which show me just how heavy it is to carry a family. She says, I don't like working days and nights. But I love my big, beautiful family, and we are all reflections of our Mother Earth. All of us, a beautiful mess, convinced that we're ruining this planet from the next for the next generation. But if you just look up from that text, you'll see that this Earth is still sunny side up. <laughs>